We're still going strong with this. Pretty much we're done with season two and we'll be moving on to season three. We move on now to the hand of justice. A Aster Phoenix soon learned who the destiny card had corrupted. It was Sartorius. Now knowing the truth, Aster confronted Sartorius who was controlled by the light of destruction. In order to truly free Sartorius from the light, I have to defeat him right here and now. How noble. Game on. Aster lost his duel against Sartorius. It was up to Jaden to defeat him and save him from the light. Aster, are you alright? Jaden, that's not Sartorius. It's not? No, his body has been taken over by some power-hungry alien and only you can stop it. Please stop him, it's too late for me. You foolish human. I have traveled through space to purify your planet with the power of light. Destruction is creation. No! We're gonna do things my way, bro. Get your game on! And now we gotta deal with Sayo. Though in the Japanese version, he's voiced by the same guy who did Dio. But anyway... Anyway, yeah, sorry. Just a bit distracted. Nice, we got Neo Space 2 Oversoul and a Necro Shade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You do it like this. Summon with the effect of Necro Shade. And in case anything, I got an Oversoul to back it up. Yeah, but I need a Neo's fusion. And he summons a light barrier. Great, that means one thing, he'll bring out Zawaldo. And like you, I will fight. I'll fight if needed. Here's my field spell. Feel my hole, and I'll space it. Arcana Force Zero, the Fool. When this card's in defense mode, this card cannot be changed. Nuts, he has Arcana Force Zero, the Fool. Oops! Double oops! No, seriously, that is a double oops! That's a double oops right there. Now I summon Glomoss. Contact fusion! Thanks to the effect of this, it can remain on the field. And now to activate the effect. Get rid of this! And with the light barrier gone, I can now go on the attack. Attack directly! He had a second one, meaning I'll have to use Glow, Glow Neos' effect. No. Since Neos base is on the field, yeah, they don't have to activate their effects during the end phase. The Chariot. He just had to play that. Gets it back. No! Lost Glow Neos.
Oh goody! Oh goody, what do I choose? Oversoul, bring back Neos. Play Neo Space once again. He has Thunder Giant Tempest. May as well go on the attack then. Yo, I'll be taking this card back. Now that I got my card back, I'm good to go. No, because there's not really much you can do. No, seriously, how did he how did I pull a double oops? start going on the offensive. Oh yeah, I already summoned a monster. Oh yeah, gotta activate Grand Mole's effect. Grand Neo's effect. Return this back to your hand. Arcana Force 1, the Magician. No! As I still have Neo space on the field, I'm good. Let me get a spare Neo space. happens again and he can't even push it in attack mode that means unless I get another fusion monster I'm sunk uh-uh no Oh, goody, another Grand Mall. Now I can really have fun with this strategy. No, it's I forgot to attack. Activate the special effect. And I made a big mistake. There you go. Grand Neos is your friend here in this strategy. Forcing both his full cards to be returned to his hand. And he's got nothing. And he has absolutely nothing. I win. I don't care. I, I dang won. Let's first return that to your hand, and that is game. Though in the anime, it was done much better. And I was about, it was at that five by that point. I was more into the Japanese dub because the English dub was like way behind. And yeah, that's game. Wrath of Naus. After defeating Sartorius, the light of destruction vanished. Sartorius was finally free of its influence. Forgive me. It's my fault that things went this far. Hey, no worries. If it wasn't you, it would have been someone else, right? Besides, it all worked out in the end. Yes, thanks to you. We never do see Sayo again until Season 4, 
And these guys should have at least... They should have at least included some duels with him later in this game. Now we end with Season 2 with future changes. With the crisis averted, everything was back to normal, so that the GX tournament could continue. The final round had Chaz facing the young and mysterious newcomer, Blair. Chancellor, the tournament has a winner! What? Chaz defeated every member of the Society of Light! It's gonna be the Chaz! Well, if there's no one else left, then our winner is... Hold that thought! He hasn't beaten me! Then it looks like this tournament's still on! What's the prize for first place? I'll grant the winner anything they desire, within reason, of course. Deal. When I win, I want the white dorm torn down and the good old blue dorm brought back. Don, what about you? If I win, I get into the Slifer Red dorm. Slifer Red? The winner deserves to be an obelisk blue, but hey, who am I to stand in your way? Hey, wait, I know you. You're that grade school kid. You know her? She tried to sneak in last year. She was obsessed with Zane, but I think she now has a thing for Jaden. The name's Blair, and don't you forget it. Well, you're not gonna forget that you're about to get chashed. God, that sounded bad. Did I legitimately say that? That was just... Ugh. Oy. Now I gotta fight Blair Flanagan to conclude Season 2. And when we reach Season 3... Here, boy. Oh boy. No fusion gate yet. And starts off with a fire princess. Yeah, but I'm in for heck. No, that will be it. He plays Cyclone and destroys my magical hats. That trap would have helped. Just terrific. Discard this to summon this. Outstanding dog, Marin? I see. Graceful charity. Oh my. Discard this and this. Choose zones to occupy. Now we're going speed. Now we're gonna go speed doing. Addo Jama Blue. Oops. Yeah, 
have, but now you have 800 attack points. Thanks. Activate its effect. Activate Fusion Gate. Which lets me form Ojama Knight. Now you don't even have that many monsters to choose from. Thanks to ground collapse. Yeah, piece, she's stuck. She's going to keep getting life points, and I'm going to keep losing them. Thank you. Now with this... Ojama Magic and Ojama Country. Attack mode, summon Ojama Red. Which lets me activate its effect. It's good enough. I'll set this face down. Pixie Ring. When you control two or more face-up monsters, your opponent cannot target the monster with the lowest of feet, lowest attack. Yeah, now you don't even have the lowest attack now! Well, so much for that strategy! Yeah, but you're now at 800 attack points. Mm, accurate! Damn! My Ojama Knight bit the dust! He, she just had to destroy my Ojama Country spell. God damn it! Yeah, she's going to keep on gaining life points. Choose carefully. You chose poorly. Nuts! My old strategies went down the drain. And now she's gonna keep on getting life points endlessly.
Activate the effect of Ojama Blue. Summon Ojama Red. And now to take that down. Now you don't have anything left. This could help. Yeah, my whole plan went down the drain. Foolproof plan, but Blair got really lucky with her moves. Yeah, she got me. JJ. Let's try this again. This'll do. Let's see what Blair has up her sleeves. Trial of the Princess. Let's see how this will work out. Because if my strategy works, I can have more pajamas in my hand. Let's see what she gets. You chose right. Thanks. Nice. And now to make sure that she does not summon any more monsters. Yellow, black, green. Form a three to a form Ojama King. And set it to defense mode. 
now you can't use this, this, or this. So you really don't have much in terms of options. Yep, she gains 400 life points. Dancing Fairy. Nope, I don't have anything. And as long as she's like this, she's stuck. She's gonna keep on gaining life points unless I find a way to prevent her from pulling this stuff. Summon Ojama Country. Give up this to resummon this. Pixie Ring. No sweat. You lose 2,000 life points. And you lose more. If I had ground collapse, place them right there, she suck. destroyed at the end phase. How is she doing this? Thank you. Now I'm striking back. That's not going to save you. That won't save you either! Set them all face up in attack mode. Activate Ojama Country. This go activate this effect. Resummon Ojama King into the main monster zone. Nice. Oh, yes. I get more Ojamas. And you know what they say, right? That is game. Bye, bye, bye. Your entire deck, your entire field has been completely whooped. Each. Yuck! Sen? Anjome Sanda! I lost! Why don't I always seem to end up behind? Lesson one. Winning or losing doesn't matter as long as you had fun. That's some free upperclassmen available. That was so deep. So wise. Wasn't it Jaden who taught you that? Plagiarist! Jaden? Of course, he's the dreamiest. The winner of the first GX tournament is Chaz Princeton. Having to beat you with Ojamas made it so, so 
fitting. And now we reach season three, and judging by this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine duels, and the final tour, season four. Let us get started with a duel of a duel. Jaden began his third year at Duel Academy, and Chancellor Shepard brought in the top duelists from other duel academies located around the world. Chancellor Shepard called the entire student body together to introduce the new transfer students. With each new year comes modification and improvement. Here at Duel Academy, we strive for perfection. So to keep each one of you at the top of your game, we invited a few new students to join. In fact, they represent the top students from each of our four Duel Academy worldwide branches. Visiting us all the way from East Academy, Adrian Gecko, and hailing from West Academy, Axel Brody. Hi, mites. Next, joining us from our branch in the South, it's Jim Crocodile Cook. And last, leading the pack at North Academy, it's Jesse Anderson. I'd like, also like you to meet our visiting professor from West Academy. Say hello to Professor Thelonious Viper. It's an honor. For those of you who have heard my methods are strict, you're right. However, I've always felt there is a method in my madness. I believe actions speak louder than words. So why don't we skip over the pretenses and get down to business? Why don't we kick off this year by holding an exhibition match right now? Jesse Anderson. And his opponent will be Duel Academy's top student, Jaden Yuki. Jesse, you're a nice guy, but I'm not going to go easy on you. That's not how I roll. Of course. I wouldn't expect anything less from Jaden Yuki. So as they say, let the best duelist win. Ready? You bet. Game on. And this is what starts off Season 3. Season 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. This would also be the last, du last season that was dubbed in English. I will be explaining that when we reach the Season 4 stuff. Oh, nice. Start things off with a graceful charity. Emergency call. Very nice. That's all I've got. Neos? That's the only hero cards I've got? Nice. Now the field spell is in place. Nuts, my battery's low. Oh, now the game actually tells me that, huh? Go fig. All right. Now let's continue. Now we use a Sapphire Pegasus. Activate its effect. Play face downs because you'll just power up my my flare map, my flare scarab. Good. Now go on the attack. Last resort. Yeah, draw a card. Nice. Now this is actually going to power up my Flare Scarab. Pot of Greed. Now he brings out the Sapphire Pegasus. Topaz Tiger. Activate Grand Mole's effect. Nice, a second Neo Space. All right, then I'll just have to keep attacking in this matter. Yep, damage is reduced by half.
Emerald Turtle. He has now three. By forcing him to do this, I can be able to like, well, oh boy, here we go. Now with all that power, I can fight back. Half damage. That's fine, but now you don't have the strength to fight back with. Discard my Neo so when I get Oversoul, I can summon it. Very good. That's what I need. Grand Mole, I summon you. Nice! Now I can attack you again for direct damage. That's fine. That's fine by me. Since this field is full of face downs, he can't activate Crystal Beacon or any of that junk. Discard. Activate the effect. Neos, approach the field now! Time we end it. Neos, Flare Scarab, Contact Fusion! And thanks to Neo's base effect, it makes it even more powerful. And now you're done. 3100 damage. That's a lot. No, don't activate the effect, because I need him. Oh, look, another one. Resummon. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, Jesse, but Johan, hate to say it, but you tried. <laughs> nice duel. I could have beaten you if I had Rainbow Dragon in my deck. What do you mean, bro? According to the legend, the soul of the Rainbow Dragon lives inside an ancient stone tablet, but no one knows where to find it. But when it's found, according to Pegasus, it's going to be made into a Duel Monsters card. Excellent. A fitting start for the new semester. Your first lesson is complete. As I explained to you before, I fancy myself a man of action. You learn by practicing. So I'll be organizing mandatory duels every day and I suggest you comply. Because from now on, I'll be monitoring your every move. You're my pupils now. And to succeed, you must duel. <laughs> oh man, something's not right about this. What gave that away? The maniacal laugh? Yeah, that was probably the case. <sighs> Okay, so we've already went through four, but I guess we can do another. This is Hanging with Axel. Later on, Professor Viper called another school assembly in order to introduce his new invention. Feast your eyes on my newest invention, the Bioband. Starting now, you're all required to wear one. Over the next few weeks, you'll take part in a series of survival duels. You will all begin with the same ranking regardless of your dorm color or grade level. These devices systematically gather and transmit data of your dueling ability to a central computer. With them measures your energy, evaluates your decisions, and gauges overall fighting spirit. Once the evaluation is complete, each of you will be given a score, and failure will not be tolerated. They say you're the best of the best. They call you people the elite. Now prove it. Meanwhile, Axel Brody captured Cyrus and used him to draw Jade into a survival duel. Help me! I have a fear of dangling over deadly cliffs! Let him go, Axel. I don't think so. Well, not yet anyway. Your friend here just saved me a world of trouble. Instead of hunting you down, I just sat back and let you come to me. So that's what this is all about. Give me a break. 
I'm always up for a duel. If you wanted to throw down, all you had to do was ask. Maybe, but I couldn't take that chance. Besides, hot tying your friend over a cliff was way more fun. Take him down. Relax, he'll come down sooner or later, because if you win, I'll release him. If you lose, he takes the fall. There's only one person that's going down, and that's you. So as they say, well as I say, get your game on. Now we face off against him. This guy specializes in fire monsters. And boy, he was annoying to deal with in the original. This here is no exception. All right. Okay. Discard this and this. Let's me summon Neos without requiring a tribute. Neos, arrive on the field. Right, get key break. Oh, man. Now he activates a Blaze Accelerator, and then a Tri-Blaze. What am I to do? Fine. Summon Burstinatrix. Time to bring out my favorite monster. My favorite Takado. Elemental Hero. Flame Wigman. That should do it. He'll just use Tri Blaze Accelerator to destroy my monster. And he doesn't do that. Yup, he banishes that, I take the same amount of damage. Now direct attack. Firewall. No, I'll just keep attacking. He has to pay life points every turn. Sure you want to do that, Risk? First, we start with Wild Heart. He didn't want to risk it. Yep, he waited for the right time. Burial from a different dimension. He had to have done that. You sure about this? That was a waste. Because my monsters will deal with you.
Now to attack three times, and traps don't work against Wild Heart. Bye bye. That's game. After the duel ended, both Jaden and Axel's bio bands activated and began to glow with an eerie yellow light. Both of them lost consciousness and collapsed. <sighs> that wasn't easy. Wild Heart did help me save the day. And yeah, I think we'll end it here because there's still a few more left. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine left. So probably in the next part, we'll be doing four more and then we'll finish it. That is going to be it for this part of Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. We're almost done with the GX side. I mean it. If you enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Helps out greatly. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.